afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next. Now at the plate, Benito Fernandez. He will lead this one off today. Off the afternoon for Cleveland. The first baseman, number 36. First Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit to third. He's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So striding in, Alec Bohm, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big Alec. way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 2-2. Two -two. Fun for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. Here we go. Next up for the Red Sox, Gerald Hayden, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Popped him up. Duran has a play, and that's the second out of the inning. Into the box now, oh, Gerald Hayden. 0 for 1 for Number him here in this one. Gerald Hayden. Hey, I like the up there, huh? First pitch coming, here it is. Two out, nobody on. That's popped up. Duran into shallow center. He gets there to make the catch and. Digging in now, Third Gerald Hayden. Two. He comes in 0 for 2 Gerald. thus far. Hayden. Good pitch right here. Let's go, bud. Here comes the first pitch. And that's swung on and missed oh, for strike count. one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. The next 0 2. Hit back up the middle, reined in. A bare hand for one. And hey. the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Jason oh, Morant. Right the right field. Runners off for second. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Martinez. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 0 1 offering. Runners on his way to third. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. They still trail one nothing. Stepping into the box, base, Gerald Hayden. He'll swing it from the Gerald. left side right here. Hayden. Really doesn't matter what side the play that this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Striding in for the Indians, Archie Neely. The right fielder, Archie Neely. The 1-2. Gets this one down. 
And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead, make it 5-1. to one. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This one's down to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Indians forced to settle for one. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Tribe lead this one five to one. Let's go. Stepping in and ready for now another shot, so Gerald baseball. Hayden. He's the last Gerald chance with the tying and winning there. runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. Hey, drive those guys in. Here we go. Hey, big moment. We need you. Here you go, kid. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Strike one to start the at-bat. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Outside for a ball, one and one. Watch up, drive him in for us. Hey, get your pitch right up there, huh? Let's go, kid. A big moment, here we go. And he takes a ball two, and it's two and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Right here, kid. Let's go. The set and the two and one. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. So a three run blast to straightaway left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. The Bo Sox came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. John Quintero earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over.